let's let's go to Dhruv for a minute. Uh, you have a lot of experience in in campaigns on on sites. So maybe you could talk a little bit about uh, what you found has worked actually. So let's go to what has worked for you. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I think I think one thing that I would like to start with is is definitely uh, the idea of how challenges work on the internet as opposed to how advantages it can be. So, in actuality, I think all of the challenges are also all of the things that help the internet become such a space where it can be utilized in a lot more ways than we have utilized it till now. The idea that you know it is an open space, it is a free space, as Rohini mentioned, it's also a challenge because it allows for a lot of trolling, it allows for a lot of hate, it allows for a lot of restrictions. On the other hand, it is also an open space in the sense that it allows for anonymity, which has been a tool that a lot of people have harnessed uh, to really, you know, make the internet something that they can uh, use to empower themselves as opposed to, you know, put it down. Because I've I've done a lot of work with digital campaigns and I've done a lot of work with uh, blogging and in this work I've seen a lot and this is also a very troubling uh, data point that most of the anonymous accounts, if uh, you know that have been revealed later as a personal identity have been of women, and the idea behind that is again it's, it's empowering in a way that you know a lot of women have taken up the space as something that they own, but it is also extremely troubling in the way to imagine that men don't even need feel the need to be anonymous online as far as this is concerned. So you know this is a space where they feel they have no threat, uh, they they cannot be affected and. On the other hand, the, the other side of the data is that the anonymity has also helped a lot. A lot of times where there is no space for a lot of people to talk about and privilege has a lot to do with it. The internet and especially social media offers for an alternative which, which can be utilized in certain situations to still let it out, to still you know, create a community to, to empower oneself or if nothing else, to just vent. Because Again, a lot of people went on social media. It is something that we are uh, exceptionally good at. So that is something that has definitely happened. Uh, I think with anonymity also, as, as somebody mentioned, was the idea of, of responsibility. We haven't been able to figure out till now whose responsibility is the internet. And that's partly because, well, everybody's it is everybody's responsibility and it is nobody's responsibility. The way governments have tried to control the internet has been preposterous is what I would say because the idea has been that you know there are boundaries somehow to how we're going to uh, govern the internet that you know somehow the state boundaries can define how the internet works even though as a platform which is it is completely different and I think it is also important to look at who's using it so even though uh, and I will come to the challenges later even though a lot of technology has not been adopted in a lot of places. The major demographic, even in India, and it is the fastest growing demographic as well, is young people between the ages of 18 to 35. And on the other side of this, uh, as I mentioned, I think the challenges are the same as the benefits. The other side of this is that a lot of times we tend to forget that social media and the internet is not a disconnected space. It is the same space that we are in today. It is not going to have a different culture that is going to be created from scratch. The culture on the internet is going to replicate that we have in actual life. So if we are living in a patriarchal society, which we are, it is no surprise that the internet is also going to adopt the same culture. And that's what's happening. Which is why it becomes even more important for, for people who are actively advocating for equal rights, actively advocating for you know, uh, gender sensitivity to be on this space and talk about why it is important, not just offline, but also online. You know, there's a lot of uh, discussion happening right now on uh, on gaming. I think a recent game, uh, video game, had had this this idea that you know people could rape other people digitally, so they could play this game. It, it's just a game, and the programmers has not have had not even inputted it. Somebody hacked the game to include a feature of raping somebody inside the game, and before you know it, in two days, the entire uh, YouTube. Uh, the entire community of YouTube was filled with videos of people digitally raping other players in the internet. And that really tells you that it's not as much about uh, eroticism or you know sexual fantasies or desires as it is about power. Because one would like to imagine that this is a space which, if it was different, this would not have happened. But it has happened. Why it has happened is 
is it goes back to the same point because it's a free place because it's it's an open space everybody can utilize it according to whatever they need which is why it is very important for a lot of uh, people especially young people to take up the idea of the internet as something that they they're already a part of as opposed to something that they will start you know something that i even if i have, might have registered on facebook today which is highly unlikely for me living me being a male in an urban area uh, i have the fact that i've used to connect to people before offline means that i'm already networking so it's not something that i'm going to do from scratch it is not something that i have created for myself it is something that already exists and it is it is just another space it's a tool that can be harnessed it's not a new world which a lot of people are thinking about so i think that is why it is also important that we don't look down upon the internet as as this this um, not as effective mechanism of uh, intervention the biggest problem as everybody has spoken about right now is access because uh, well i think rohini also spoke about the kriya study i was at kriya when the study was happening and it's actually quite interesting to see how it works because if you go by the data points the data points will tell you that these many women have access to mobile phones but that data by itself means nothing because what does access mean has to be defined so if i am saying i have access to a mobile phone it's as easy for me to say i have access to flying to new york but if i have access to it is not the same as if i can do it right uh, and that's the same with the internet that's the same with mobile phones i might have access to it but if i'm still restricted despite the access i am not able to utilize the mobile phones in a way that would actually help me in this case you know the idea was to talk about bodies to talk about women's bodies and talk about their rights and talk about their you know all of these things and we discovered that not only is it difficult in many places it was impossible because there was one uh, mobile phone per family and even that was mostly as they mentioned with with parents with the men in the family i wouldn't even say parents the men in the family and there were a uh, specific time slots uh, uh, allotted to the women in the family to use those mobile phones and mostly for purposes which have household work to do you know if they need to go and buy vegetables if they need to do something related to the house then they're giving very limited access to uh, the mobile phones but there is very strong control even then so and now on the other hand on the other side the mobile phones are definitely increasing the, the access to mobile phones and again i'm using the word access even though i don't want to is definitely increasing a lot more people are getting access to it and a lot of more people are getting access to the internet and if the interventions are not made right now in on the internet for india it is very very possible that it is going to completely ape the very violent culture we have offline and that's why you know whoever i meet um uh, i would like them to think about privacy concerns i would like them to think about uh why they were do they would want to avoid the internet if at all but despite those privacy concerns i would ask them not to write it off i would ask all of the activists that are working with gender with you know with, with women's rights to to consider the internet as an option to empower the work that they're already doing even if it is not directly impacting it right now because uh i think going back to the same point access is universal but access is also limiting uh, a lot of the fact that a lot of people are getting access today if you subdivide it you will also see a lot of men are getting access to it today so uh, the rates at which mobile phones are increasing the rates at which access to internet is increasing is if you break it down to genders you will realize that one gender is increasing a lot and the other gender not so much um uh, that has a lot because uh, even to get access even to get subscription to internet you need documents you need you need papers you need verification and a lot of times these verification these papers are not in the hands of the men in the family so how do you how do you even enroll in such a service it's a preposterous idea if you think about it but at the same time it is going to get there and we are moving towards it so i think it's better to look at how we can use it to empower ourselves as opposed to how it's something that we shouldn't think about because it's not reaching everybody which is true it's not so i, I would definitely like to bring that up and i think uh, with activism this uh, want to touch on the idea of activism because it is something that has really uh, taken people you know t- really taken people a-, a lot the idea that we can actually raise a voice 
against something that we disagree with. Um, this is something that the internet has really uh, magnified a lot because initially the idea of raising a voice was considered to be very violent, considered to be something that uh, only those those people in the corners, the, the activists who wear kurtas and who can do really, you know, uh, aggressive uh, activism will take up. But now I think the idea is getting a little more diffused because there is access to a platform where I am just as important as, you know, Rohini, I am just as important as, I wouldn't say the Prime Minister, but the idea is that, that I am important. I am, I have my own community and I have access to my own community. So the idea that if I don't agree with something, I can find other people who disagree with it as well. And that more than, often than not empowers me to really go ahead and take the next step. It is not to say that um, we need to look at you know activism on the internet in isolation because that won't work. It's a tool that we can utilize to uh, enhance our activism. It is a tool we can utilize to create a community of people to get more ideas of if these systems are not working, what systems can work. And more importantly, it's a tool to debate. It's a tool to create dialogue. And conversations are something that the lack of conversations has brought a, us to this place where you know a lot of us believe that whatever we believe is is whatever we believe goes and people in power um, this is why power gets stuck in places so in a lot of places you will find a lot of people are taking the internet by storm to to really talk about the idea of liberation sexual liberation you know the idea that access is something that everybody has there is a right to access so so you will find that in a lot of places the internet is being utilized in this way and i would only like to you know request each and every one of you to make sure that what, whatever work you're doing tomorrow to try to include the idea that the internet is a place for activism and the internet is something that anybody can utilize so so that is something that is often missed out and i would like i would wish it wasn't